What's up guys? Welcome back to JK Fishing. Today we are back down in the Sunshine State, heading out on a boat into the Atlantic Ocean, looking to hopefully pair some pelagic species, maybe go bottom fishing, whatever's biting. We're gonna see what we can get on to. Gotta watch out, he doesn't get sharked again. But he's going hard at it. Oh, he got sharked. He got sharked. He just saw the boat, maybe? I'm not saying he get sharked, he get sharked. Look at that. Yeah. Damn, that's huge. He's a freaking shark. So, whenever you guys out there say, oh, save the sharks. Oh, wow, look, I think I. Welcome to uh, Florida. Got one on the slow pitch. It's recording you here, Johnny. Yeah, the slow pitch. Out of the way, Johnny? I'm going to go in depth later in the video talking about slow pitch jigging. Don't get so shark. I picked up a new rod. That's a that's a pelagic. And that's your shark. No, 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 no. Look how high up it is. Yeah. Look at the tail. It might be a Vanita, actually, because it charged the surface. Pop off? Yeah. Pop off. No. Yeah. I felt so I was just sitting here while Johnny had his fish on the ground, just digging, and this is what I got here. This 200 gram stag wingman mustad jig. We're gonna show you what it looks like. That's uh, there's a little bit of teeth marks there, but it's like a glow in the dark, sick color. Let's get it right back down. So this rod, guys, is specific to slow pitch jigging. It's a 6 8 10 battalion slow pitch spinning rod. I paired my 4,000 size slammer with it, and it fits like a glove. It's beautiful. It's my first time using it. First drop down, I hit a fish. Slow pitch jigging is becoming increasingly popular in uh, Florida and all over the world. Started out in Japan. Um, and it's pretty, pretty incredible because it's almost like a finesse in salt water. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. That's basically what it is, right, Johnny? Yeah. You use these little kitty rods, as they seem like you, little you noodles. Just sit here, and my technique, guys, is terrible because it's my yeah. first time. But you just sit here jigging, and it flutters down. Sick action. Get a double here. <laughs> think the shark got him? There we go. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. And Joe's hooked up. Woo! You think that's a shark you got on there, or what? Beauty. Manita sashimi, Joe. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> you got that one, Johnny? Oh, he no. come off? He came off! Like... No, he's still on. Oh. Still... oh my god, Johnny's on! Johnny's on as well! There, he popped off. Mine popped off, good. Wait, 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 wait. There we are. Oh, missed him, missed him. Better get him back, back for it. And he's on. I'm gonna high speed vertical jig. Yeah. It's center, it's not center, not too much. That one. Oh, this one! It's me! High speed. I might just switch to that, John. You're just hitting anything? Why is it so slow? Come over here, bring it Yes, we got the one, guys. We got the one. We got one down on the deck there on the slow pitch. Beauty. I see a shark to chase after him. He's looking at my top out there. Well, yeah. So we got bonitas for days on the JK fishing boat. Look at that. Oh, my shorts are all bloody now. Why? Because it's the bloodiest fish in the ocean. One in the basket. Should we switch to dead bait here, guys? Uh, okay, get the brush and start going. I need the bucket guy to get the brush. Put this down. Yeah. Joe, I got one on the one run. 
And that's the magic of slow pitch. You don't even need to move a piece of metal and you just go hit it. Sure if I get wet. Got one. I wasn't even moving it and I got one. Nope, he broke off. Uh, uh. There we go, guys. These fish are unbelievable. With 3% battery to spare. Yeah, I'm gonna let them go quickly. Quick little break to retie and double up again. They're going. <laughs> Oh, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Bring him in, Joe. Look at the blood on his face. Just watch your hands if a shark comes up to grab him, eh? Yes. What do you want to do with this one? You want to like cut squares and like play with the shark? Yeah, cut some squares and throw them out. So we're gonna take this thing, Giant's gonna bring him here. Squares, just look chum, I guess. What are you doing there, Jack? Please be edible. Please yeah, be edible. Anita? Anita, Joe? Oh. It was a kingfish. No. Was it? Second one under the boat. What do you think happens? Those teeth cut right through 60 pound line. Right. It's the gone. King. Pretty good, you know. Did you pop off? Yes. Yeah. Popped off. It's not a shark. Hope it's a king. One edible fish. Enough bonitas for one day. Yeah. Look at that. Uh -huh. Look at that. Punch these rods up here, push it. Jack, what do you think? I can't pick them. Are you shooting in? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Jack. He tends to go side to side on it. Put too much pressure on it. Now in the cup. Shark? The oh, shark is yeah, here. No. no. Yes. Okay, hey, bring oh, it. Oh, then he's going to come back. Mm. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yo, I'm not sticking my hand in the water while sharks there. Anyways, hook comes okay. out easy. That's why I need pressure on him. Also, the hook won't stay in there. Another one Looking by me and Joe. Fish, you know that? Unreal. No uh, table value, but they are great. Look at this. Still got the bait. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but uh, a bait saves is a bait earned. We have enough for sharks this trip, so we're gonna keep. We're gonna let them go. Oh, that was wet. He's not kidding. Every. One nanosecond, a new bonita is born, and every two nanoseconds, a bonita is either caught or eaten by. Jack's on. Just hold it. Don't put your hold finger near that line. Sharks, Doctor Johnny. Help me. Someone, please help me. It's fighting differently than the one we had before earlier. Making a run. No, don't go under there. This smoked the blue runner. This, this is massive. You need a good tail shape. <laughs> Feel like the tail so it's either going to be trapped with it. Macro, you got it? Uh, right. So it's amazing. You said it might be a tuna. <laughs> or it could be a panita. What do you call it? Please don't be a panita. There's no way. It's an amberjack. Might be. Is there a shark on it? Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Lift him up. Help him, Joe. Help him. Watch, you're hitting the roof. Looks like it's over 24 inches. Fish, but then again. 
They don't call me Measurement Joe. This is a big finish. Greater? Yeah. Wow. The size of that. Wow, Giuseppe, good job. I knew it wasn't a shark. I, I bet you that's what we lost earlier, an even bigger one. Yeah. Amber smashed the little blue runner we sent out. Wow! Bam, bam, bam! Ah. Shark was going for it too. I was like, no way am I letting that thing have it. I fought hard. The habit put in me work. Great job. How's it feel? This is Joe's fish. But look at the size of him. What did you give him, 30? Say, I'm not shocked and Amberjack ate that blue runner. We got those, and I told Joe when we caught them, I'm like, Yeah, he did. Those are Amberjack King. Oh, it snapped off. Yeah. Uh, you look at me like something's wrong. Oh, what do you think that was? You can't do anything. Probably got sharked. That's why. You know they say the only thing that belongs under your arm is a purse. Always in the rod and the hips. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind is that? It's actually the same reel we use for uh, surf fishing. So we like to do like to keep the same reels, just switch out rods, right? Because you're not gonna be using a surf reel on a boat or a surf rod on a boat. So. This reel too. Hundred dollar reel. Leave it. With the line it's a hundred dollars. Oh, look at that! Rod in between the legs! No, don't put your finger on that line, sir. Let him run a bit. Jack's great at hooking fish. <laughs> See those little tip, every, real, 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 every little tail vibration. So, triple header, just on the new drift. Oh, snapped off. Benito's flying over the rail. Oh! One on the boat, throw him right back in. This to be another fisherman's disappointment. Yeah. This thing went up high, so definitely chased by a shark. Watch, watch how fast he goes. So, Johnny was like, Joe, I sometimes just do this, and he's kind of jerking the rod, bam, fish. Oh, I see. You keep it really high up in the water column. You're dragging it. Oh, you just got shark. No. Oh yeah, the shark just came up and and took it. But my no, it's still going. The shark was going after. It. You got a real fast. It's gonna be oh, wrong. This one, a shark's going after this one. I'm in the shark. Shark exploded on the surface. I saw did you that. See that? that was a big I did. One too. It was. I don't know if I got it on okay. camera though. Another bit of Ida. I threw that. Hey, I already threw that back in. No, I didn't get it till too late. Real, real, real. You got a real. This is where the sharks are going to hit. By the boat. Right here. High speed vertical jig. This is a must add. I think it's a Daggerman. Uh, no, Moonriser. Nice one. Not bad. Anyways, look at all the teeth marks on it. Showing that it's putting the work today. I'm going to drop it down. We're gonna see how long it takes to get a fish. I'm gonna show you guys my jigging style, which <laughs> is whatever I feel like doing at the time. I caught Benita whoa, 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 with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we hooked up on another Benita back there, but I've caught Benita with the jig sitting still in the water. Just so <laughs> sweat on your face right now. Yeah. We just landed three like probably a minute ago. Yeah, I'm gonna triple header. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close it up now. I'm just gonna go like this. Really, look at you, eh? Special technique. Special. Sometimes I go like that. Other times I go like this. And um, you're, you just keep going. You can give a couple big jerks just to track the fish. That far. And uh, must not give us a sponsor. Do you want this one? Please, I would love one. These jigs are awesome. Workout. Not want to hit for. Oh, there he is. Oh. I missed him. Missed him. Missed him. 
Jack's, Jack's on, on as well, so we have two two on there. Come on, Johnny. I just missed one there, so I'm gonna see if he wants to come back. There's one. Nope, missed him again. You suck. Jamie, Johnny's finally on. No way. Sorry, don't don't reel anymore. Don't reel anymore. You want me to help her hold it? Still on? Oh. He's going smart. Johnny, you're off? He's off. I was oh, working so, so fast, though, and I saw him hit it. Yeah. Hey, what do I do with this okay. thing? I'm dead. Grab me the pliers, Jack. You're toast, Johnny. Uh, great going from my back. The shark's chasing his Benita. Put it underwater, Joe. Put it underwater. Put it underwater. Put it underwater. Put <laughs> Why are you cheering on the Benita? There's like a million. I might actually. We don't, we don't want to lose the gig, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> They're so fast. What was that? Six fish in five minutes? Wow. Benita? Benita. Hey, grab him, grab him, grab him. Cool. If he just flops off, is that good? Yeah, I just the shark. Look at these. Both flip, both flip. No. You didn't clean the blood from the floor. Oh my okay, god. Okay, right back in. You want me to see that? Daddy look. Looks out. Little banana. And. Beauty. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Look at him go. That was so cool. Okay, we need to clean up his blood before you. Uh, Give, Give me the jig. Give me the jig. Is it frayed? Yeah. Oh, I'm sending it let it let it run first. Let it run first, Anita? and we're giving it to Mom. Okay. Wait, can you do it? Ready? Watch out. Yeah. You're gonna grab the rod. Three, no, no, you're two, one. Get over there, Mom. Watch out, Jack. What is that? That's not a bonita. That yeah, is. Just the mob kill? No. Pull up, pull, and then reel down. Reel, reel. Beauty. Hey, throw him back in. Show the fish. There we go. Oh, okay, let's oh, get some pictures. Picture. Oh. Nope. Now he's just the thing with these fish is you can never tell if it's on or not because they'll charge you. He's charging. He's charging. When it goes slack like that, and then he runs. What did you call him? There's a shark on him. Oh, yeah. Changing direction. Yeah. The the shark. Every time they go up the surface, it's because the shark pushing them up. The shark comes from the bottom, and push them up. All right, it's a bony. Oh, is it? Yes, it is. Forty-fifth. Nice, Johnny. Grab him hard, man. All right, there you go. Gopher's gonna die, so. Johnny, beast, throw him in, shoot him in. You got 1% battery. Come on, get him in, Johnny. Get him in, torpedo him. 1%, Johnny. All right, guys, we're just heading back to the dock. We're gonna show you how you fillet these fish. We're gonna cook up that amber jack, maybe smoke it. We'll see what we do with it. However, we need jack. Good or what? Yeah, but the amber jack might have work. Well, we'll show you that at the dock, guys. So, we'll see you there. All right, guys. Look at all the catfish. Jeez. We're gonna play his amber jack. I'm gonna play jack. I'm gonna cut into steaks. Wait, Johnny. Pop up one bottom line. Now, as Jack mentioned earlier, amber jacks tend to have worms. Did but somebody call my name? These pelicans are waiting. This is such a massive fish. You get food for days. And you know what? Our neighbor's gonna appreciate this. And uh, this will take a while to fillet. Oh, just working on this just thing. Try to make it one big for life if you can. I don't want it, but that's what Sir Gianni wants. 
Yeah. You don't feel the rib cage when you hit it. The ribs are like the size of human ribs. What can't you do the helicopter? Almost there. Look at that spine, my goodness. Such a big fish. Like the size of Jack we got off the beach. I thought <laughs> that was even bigger. I missed a little meat here and there. It's not the end of the world. So that's a no, decent fillet, John. Oh no, gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. You know what? When we're done with this fish, usually I would say, oh, keep the head, use it for shark bait. Well, <laughs> it's too big. We got five bonitas already and a 40 pound Jack Creval, so we got shark bait for days. All right, here we are. It's done. This is only one side. It is on the one side. What do I do? Do I just let it dry? Think of that, Johnny. I mean, we missed a, a bit of meat, but look at the size. How are you gonna get that meat? Look at the bone. Off. And you know the the little fish will clean it off, so it all goes back. Little fish. Well, that's massive. Look at the fish and the pelicans. So look at the other side of this fish, done. We'll uh, trim out the pin bones and skin it, and then uh, we'll see you in the kitchen. Exactly. We got our amberjack here, removed any tough meat or bloodline, just because you don't want to eat it and it's not desirable to eat, you don't like the taste of it. And we're just going to season it up before we put it on the charcoal barbecue, which is heating up in the background. What we're going to do for that, we're just going to put some sea salt on. some garlic powder black pepper a little bit of chili powder give it a little bit of a kick and a little bit of cumin We're gonna get the other side of this and uh, we'll see you at the barbecue. We got our fish all seasoned up, both sides. We got our charcoal barbecue. It's pretty hot right now. I'm just gonna lie the fish down on the grill and we'll get those nice sear marks from the grill. Mm, we need to make a little. And uh, I'm just going to let it cook and then we'll uh, see you when it's done. The fish is done, I have some on a plate and I'm going to give you guys my honest review. I'm just going to tell you in advance that I do not lie to you guys, I just tell it how it is. So, and here goes. Jack Revals, Jack Reval are very bloody fish, the same family as an amberjack. However, this is not bloody, this is a very white, light tasting fish. Can barely even tell out his fish. It tastes like chili powder. Yeah, the chili powder adds a little bit of a kick, and this is kind of like a nice blackening slash Cajun recipe. So uh, if you guys are looking to try some amberjack, make sure that you bleed it out, cut out the bloodline, and throw it on the barbecue. Anyways, guys, I can't move over here. Is, there, is, is this B-roll or what? Go. Just keep going. Anyways guys, that's all for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. We'll see you next time.